Hello and welcome back. We are now in lesson two, how to multiply those golden bunnies. And with this one, we want to um, take some of the things that we've already been talking about in our past lessons and bring back to the forefront of your mind some of the things that we've been working on and making sure that we're doing that today and in the future. I found that sometimes, you know, conversations can actually disappear, that some of the things that we intended to do, we're not doing. And if you are really on top of it, you're starting to do your gratitude journaling. It will make a huge difference. It really does for me. And I am very, very gracious that you are here with me in this time to be able to be even better to help others around us to be even better. So how do we create even more unexpected moments, unexpected, positive, over the top, almost peak experiences? Well, perhaps we just need to get out more. For me, for about a, almost a year, I was doing what I called cocooning on the couch. It's like, I don't want to go anywhere, do anything. It's, although there was those moments where I was like, I don't want to go out, but oh no, I don't even want to be here. It was horrible. But if I got up, I made myself go out, be with people. Then there was the opportunity to have even better peak experiences, even better um, sharing and knowledge with others because I went out. Being with friends, hearing stories, being in support groups, especially if you're having a very difficult time, getting with the right expert to help you through that. And watching movies, watching comedy, making things that make you laugh out loud. I mean, really, it makes your molecules change. For me, some of it was just going and people watching. I could go and have a cup of coffee on the corner of a place where people would walk by and I could watch all the interactions of people maybe even have some tearful moments as I remember Grick, but also ones of joy. When you see a little child and their parent or the interaction of, of a, a puppy or uh, just all the different things that could be happening when you're people watching, that could be a really good um, peak experience for you. And some of the new groups for me, this is a, a one I don't often tell people about, so you get to be in on a little secret, but it's not that much of a secret. I actually joined a Harley Davidson group. I bought, I bought a Harley. I knew how to ride motorcycles. So I was proficient in riding a motorcycle, but being part of that group and all the different diverse people who were there. I mean, there were CEOs to, to janitors and we loved riding. And we did these toy drives where you, you know, rode in a big group from one place to the other to bring the toys that goes to the children and, or children in need. And that was such an, an eye-opening experience for me as far as community and um, experience of the, the riding the bike. So doing something brand new for you and being with brand new people of groups can also help create those little golden bunnies as we, as we go through this stinky swamp of widowhood. Now, one of the things that we work on is our future self. Who do we want to be in the future? Um, some of you might have said, I want to not be a widow. I am ready to have uh, a new person in my life who is special and maybe get married. You know, and how do we get to be that future person? And it could be that you want to be a marathon runner. It could be that you want to be an entrepreneur. It could be whatever it is that you're aspiring to do in the future and who does that person be that future self so we might want to think about reverse engineering it right so if you want to be that marathon runner you need to get out and start running and have just a little plan what small sweet step what small little thing do we do today that compounds over the days to become that future self and it could be that it's just very small little things that make such a big difference for yourself and for your family and for your friends. And big thing is, is taking care of yourself. When you are healthy and happy, then the world around you can appear to be even more healthy and happy. And your family and your friends will be so grateful. They may not say it to you, but for you to be healthy and happy for others is an amazing thing and a big gift that you do for somebody else. And what you want to do is not only take these small little sweet steps, but find some commitment. So in the marathon, 
example, you want to be able to sign up for uh, the marathon itself. You know the time frame of when you're going to do the marathon and now the training. So you work backwards to be able to, to make sure that you have the training to be able to complete the marathon in the time that you're hoping or wanting to do. So if you're wanting to become an entrepreneur and by uh, you know six months or 12 months, and what is it that you're going to open? What paperwork and, and tax work, et cetera, who do you need to hire? Work backwards. And, and once you have it in little one small little days, small sweet steps, it all adds up to you becoming that future person. So I hope that you are able to create even more golden bunnies along the way and work on a future self that you are in love with. And I can't wait to see you at our next lesson.